Formula variables are special, user-defined custom variables. And they are distinguished from custom variables with this F sign. Formula variables will definitely increase your flexibility when using Monospose Developer. Therefore, it is important that you know about this topic. These special custom variables are used for several purposes. First, to calculate any value not assigned to a standard variable. Second, to easily manage the value of a variable in different conditions. Then, what is the difference of formula variable from other custom variables? The formula variable directly gets its value every time it is called during post-processing. Or in other words, the calculation inside a formula variable is executed every time this variable is called. However, custom variables are like empty shells. They don't have any value defined in themselves. They only get their values in the following conditions. In scripts, by directly assigning their values. In configuration variables, by assigning their values inside settings tab, or from user-defined events inside apt cl files. Let's first explain how they are used to calculate any value not assigned to a standard variable. For instance, the R parameter in ISO drilling cycles sometimes have to be defined in incremental mode. Or in other words, they have to be defined as the distance between the retract plane and the R clearance plane. We don't have a standard variable that has this value in Monospose Developer. Although we have the standard word, drill cycle clearance distance, this is not what we need. The word, drill cycle clearance distance, has the incremental distance value from the R clearance plane to the drilling surface. Therefore, we need to define a custom formula variable to make this calculation. Let's do it together. I will create a formula variable named as incremental R. Its type will be double. Let's write the formula to calculate this distance. That is it. Now let's create a word using this variable. Finally, let's add this word inside format cycle commands. Let's now explain how formula variable is used to manage the value of a variable for several different conditions. For instance, when we want to use the high speed mode G5P2 only in simultaneous operations, we can define a formula variable. Here, G5P2 is created for this purpose. As can be seen here, it gets different values in different conditions. For instance, when simultaneous milling operation is active, it returns G5P2. For any other operations, it returns an empty string. Do not forget to add return method to each case. If not, Monospost will give an error message. Later, a word is created using this variable. And finally, this word is used inside commands. Do you think there is another way to do this other than formula variables? Yes, but it is a more difficult way. Instead of defining a formula variable, you can also create a custom variable and you can assign its value in a script. Let's do it together. I will create a custom variable named as new G5P2. And later, I will create a script to assign its value. Let's give the same name to my script. And inside this script, I will write the same formula. But here, instead of using the return function, I have to assign these values to new G5P2 variable. And finally, I will add this script inside event operation start. 
By doing so, at each operation start, this script will be executed, and this variable will get its value. This structure will work without any problem. However, if you have multiple event operation starts, defined in several other operations, adding this script in only one event will not be enough. You should find all event operation starts and add this script in each of them. Therefore, using formula variable instead of script is an easier way to define this structure. Keep in mind that there are also other cases where formula variable is the only option and custom variables cannot be used. To learn such a case, watch the video. When can't you use custom variables instead of formula variables? Finally, there is one important restriction on the use of formula variables. You cannot change the value of any variable inside formula variables. In other words, you cannot write any line like that. You can only return the value of the formula variable. 